On today's build guide, we're playing with rifles. Okay, so first things first. This build is a weird take on the rifle damage output and playstyle. Just like my last build, we're not built around crit chance and instead we rely on flat damage increases. Our biggest hits will be headshots, so this build is focused around having a steady hand and true aim. We have a chunky amount of armor and some passive sustain, so just like before, solo players will definitely rejoice playing with this. So let's talk about the gear, shall we? We're gonna start with the gloves this time around because this slot has the most important perk on the build. Compensated. Compensated requires you to have 20% or less crit chance in order to get 15% increased weapon damage, but it also wants you to have 3 or less offensive attributes. As an attribute in this slot, health is a good option. This is the first Airaldi Holdings piece in our build. Next is our body armor. I went with Overlord armaments for this slot. I crafted the chest and got very lucky with the health and armor rolls. It came with crit damage, so I swapped it for weapon damage. This weapon damage is one of our three maximum allowed red attributes for compensate. In the talents, you want the damage to lit, and for mods, defensive mods are the only choices I recommend. Now for the mask. It's the same mask as the last build, a Gila Guard mask with health, damage to leads and hard hitting for even more damage to leads. The utility mode is nice and the mask uses the second out of three maximum allowed red attributes and it's a mandatory attribute if I may add. For the backpack, 511 remains the only choice. Mine is okay at best as the weapon damage here is very low and it didn't come with damage to leads as a talent. On this slot, you either want more than 8% weapon damage or you don't want the offensive attribute at all. As a small role like mine uses the third attribute slot allowed for compensated. Try to stack as many defenses in this slot as possible. The mod slot as a utility is also fine. The holster is the second iron the holding space in the loadout and you want precise as a talent and health as the attribute. Be warned that iron the holdings always rolls an offensive mod slot in the holster and that can easily become a dead mod slot. There is more to this mod slot but I'll talk about it in a bit. On the knee pads, Gilagard is great because we can have up to two defensive mod slots. Since we already have a Gilagard mask, this gives us the second attribute, the hazard protection, which helps with evading status effects here and there. For attributes, armor is the best possible thing. For talents, you have multiple options. Patience is good if you feel like camping from far away, but you can also use Entrench, as headshots are the name of the game in this build. Damage to leads is also good if you feel like your damage isn't high enough. Braced is also very nice, because that helps with the performance of our guns. Since we're talking about guns, we use a Mark 17 and we use the Mark 17 because it has a nice balance between fire rate, damage and reload speed. For talents, Ranger and Optimized are mandatory. The third talent is whatever. On the attachments, damage to leads for the sights, headshot damage for the magazine, accuracy in the grip and either damage to leads or accuracy on the muscle. On the second gun, there is only one choice and that is the exotic marksman rifle Nemesis. Sadly, I don't own a Nemesis, so I went with a regular snipe. My third weapon is the Liberty and she's just here because I don't have a good sidearm. Having said that, if you do use the Nemesis as your exotic, make sure your handgun comes with overlap as the slight increase on handling comes handy for the Mark 17. Okay, so so far kinda complex but not so much, right? Anyways, let's talk about the playstyle. This build is for campers with good aim. I don't have good aim, so I tend to rush the enemies and spam their faces with the Mark 17. It works most of the time, so that's good enough for me. But for you, a more methodic and patient approach is the best way to play this character. I prefer the hollow side with damage to leads, but the headshot damage scopes are also fine, especially if you feel like staying far away from the enemies, taking advantage of Ranger. This is a good build for solo players that like taking things slow, and if you're one of those players, this is a great way to get used to rifles, should you want to focus on crit chance on another date. In order to maximize the potential of the rifles, we're gonna be playing as a sharpshooter, so landing precision hits is pretty much our main goal. With either Entrench or Patience on the knee pads, you can sustain a good chunk of damage and since we have skill power here and there in the mod slots, the Healing Drone, the Chem Launcher or the Healing Hive are good skills to carry around. I recommend using a hard hitting handgun as those tend to one shot headshot enemies in the overworld so you can save up ammo which is great. Now before I go, I wanted to cover the red attribute limit on the gear. As you heard me, I recommended that on your backpack either you get more than 8% weapon damage or don't get a red attribute at all, and there is a reason as to why. Mine came with 4% and that can be covered by a gear mod. In fact, I have a gear mod that has 5% damage with rifles, 2% weapon damage and headshot damage. That single mod blows the 4% weapon damage out of the water, but it only benefits rifles, so it's up to you how to handle that slot, but I stand by my recommendation. However, if you think about it, you could not build around compensated. 
and get even more damage. In the end, it's up to you. I'm just showcasing a build concept and it's up to you to follow it to IT or swap things around to benefit you. In any case, I'd like to hear your feedback on this build, so let me know in the comments your opinion. Having said that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll probably be back with another one on Tuesday. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for more content.